Hello and welcome to the Globo class. Today in the class we would be discussing about the blood cobalt or blood batteries. In the earlier class we discussed uh, about child labor in chocolate industry and here we are going to discuss about child labor in battery industry. The battery industry which is something which is upsurging in the market. So let's get started with this brief case study. You can uh, go into detail by referring article which I have pasted in the description box below you can refer more articles because there are some more videos on the blood batteries let's have a brief look on uh, on this issue okay so beneath congo's rich red earth lies the world's largest known deposit of cobalt a key metal in the lithium ion batteries that power everything from smartphones to electric vehicles last year congo supplied about 70 percent of the world's cobalt 80% of its industrial cobalt mines are owned or financed by Chinese companies. Global cobalt prices have quadrupled in the last two years. Rising demand in the last several years has already led to increases in cobalt production, drawing more people, including children, into the sector. Tens of thousands of children as young as six years old dig for the toxic substance in artisanal mines. For years, human rights groups have documented severe human rights issues in mining operations. These human rights risks are particularly high in artisanal mines in the DRC, a country weakened by violent ethnic conflict, Ebola, and high levels of corruption. Child labor, fatal accidents, and violent clashes between artisanal miners and security personnel of large mining firms are recurrent. This is what all about in brief in nutshell um, talking about blood cobalt see you for the next case study with which is on blood diamond so this is third case study on child labor from africa region take care see you soon